In this video, we're going to talk a little bit more about the ZOM and the BOM, but this time we're going to go into more detail. So generally speaking, when you create a ZOM, you're going to start from either XML or you'll start from actual Java code, one of the two. And from that, you will create your ZOM. Now the ZOM itself is interesting because it is written in Java. And your XML files, if that's what you have, these will be generally modeled using XSD. And as we saw in the IIB videos, the XSD is really the XML schema. And I'll let you read this part for more details. Now, this page here will explain what some of these mappings look like. And you can see, uh, you can kind of ignore the rest, but you can see here that we have a public class. So now we're talking about ZOM. This is, we're in the ZOM. And we've got this public Java class. So we're looking at the scenario where we're using Java. And we have uh, this customer, which uses this bounded int domain. Notice what this looks like when you finally get into the BOM. So this, you still have a class, so it looks like Java here in the BOM. We know the ZOM is Java, but it, the BOM looks like Java. And to some degree, you know, it maybe it shares 80% of the characteristics of Java, but it's actually not Java. It's used by the rules engine. The BOM is used by the rules engine to generate rules for business users. And here's another example of that. So we have this Java ZOM element looking like this, where we have these elements of this of, of this uh, c private color uh, instance variable. And look how it gets mapped into the BOM here. So we have some non-standard uh, notation here, read only, that's not standard Java. And yet, it's very similar to what you would expect from Java. So you can see that the idea of ZOM and BOM is really, really, uh, they're really close. They're linked uh, quite close together. And in fact, uh, a mapping is required between the two. But ultimately, the ZOM is Java. So even if you are using this idea here of the XML to the XML here to do the modeling, because remember, really, the ZOM is our model. If you are using XML to do it, the other thing you have to keep in mind is that you will have this serialization and deserialization process, meaning that in order for your ZOM to be created and really for the BOM to, to rules to be used, you first have to parse this big, and you mean meaning the rules engine would have to parse all of this XML in here and, and turn it into a rule. So in other words, it's going to have to look at, it's going to have to build this ZOM here from those XML components. And that process here is going to take some time, not much, a small amount, but if you have many, many, many rules that need to be run, this serialization and deserialization process can take some time. And that's not the case with Java because the ZOM itself is Java. So it's much faster if your ZOM is created from Java.